Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a section that I think we're going to call Light and Spirit. And I have to sort of give a shout out to the, the master of this kind of thing. Jeremy says, if you aren't following his channel, check it out. It is a awesome channel that does what we're doing like to the next level. For those of you who missed the first video, it's popping up in your screen right now. This is basically where myself and my buddy Andre take a cigar and a whiskey. We pay it and we give you guys an insight into what it's like. Today, we are going to be smoking a Lagalera. Now, um, this is a Dominican cigar and a lot of people sort of have, uh, would I say, negative feelings towards a D Dominican um, cigar. Although, the ones that we've smoked, especially their box press, have been outstanding. Obviously, you can get this from Cigars for Africa. Huge thank you to them for making this, uh, these things available to us here in South Africa. The aim of this is just to get you guys into the cigar smoking culture. It's a really gentlemanly, really nice thing to do with a friend because as I said, it's a commitment to time, you enjoy it, um, and it's sort of a wind down. Now, we do have to say a, a thanks to Jacques from the Whiskey Library. He recommended that we have this with a 15-year-old was. Andre cracked the seal on this guy today. We've had a little sip or two, and I can say it is an outstanding pairing. We're going to try to get to the Whiskey Lounge more than likely next week, Monday, to see what, what's, what that's all about. They've got a cigar um, section there uh, that they're sort of opening. So hopefully we'll get some video from that, uh, that, that cigar lounge in the future. But um, what we're going to do now is light this guy up, have a smoke, and then Andre's going to come back with the, with the uh, mid or the second section of this. I don't know, Andre, what are you getting? On the nose, I get a, I always get the caramel flavor or scent. I don't know why, but I always get like a mm. caramelized uh, sugar type of deal. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you're getting. There's definitely a sweetness to it, but it's not as sweet as the one we smoked last week. Um, maybe not raisin, but it's some kind of a spice, mm. um, mild sort of sweetness to it. Um, it's, it's a very moist oily looking cigar um, so i'm looking forward to actually tasting the difference in this one compared to the the Oya del monterey that we smoked last week shall so we let's light it up So guys, we are about 30 minutes in, 35 minutes in. The Lagaleras, since we've got them, have been the smoothest drawing cigars, if that's even the right f phrase, that um, we've had really, really. And I mean, this is a this is a rolled cigar. Usually we smoke the box press Lagaleras cigars. They're ultra smooth. I have had some rolled cigars or more, more rolled cigars be a bit tighter on the draw than the box press. But this guy is... It's so smooth, you almost have to slow yourself down. And remember, you don't want to rush a cigar. <laughs> um, I do just have to say, Jacques from the Whiskey Library, excellent pairing, the cigar with, with um, the 15-year-old was. The cigar is very bitter. I'm going to talk about flavors in a second. And the sweetness of this whiskey just complements it perfectly. It's almost refreshing. I'm going to get back to this and let Andre get on to his, his, what he's tasting and what he's getting from, from the cigar. It's it's very woody, earthy, um, a little bit nutty, um, very, very sort of bitter taste, I think definitely, and absolutely complements the smoothness and creaminess of the, the Diwa's whiskey. Um, I'm definitely getting, I tend to get more of a vanilla -y, um, flavor out of your single malt whiskies and I'm getting that out of this. It's a, it's a fruity vanilla type of taste but definitely complements the, the Lagalera beautifully. So today I just stocked up on 
on a new cake from Saggy Stone. It's called the Dark Horse. It's a beautifully dark beer and I think it pairs beautifully with the darker leaf cigar. Darker leaf cigars tends to pair quite well with a dark beer. And Jackie over at Saggy Stone, um, one of her reps got the keg to me within two days, which was amazing. And I would definitely suggest this beer if you haven't tasted it yet. It's a chocolate coffee mix. Um, beautiful, beautiful beer. Nice and light, 4% alcohol. But beautiful beer just for a nice evening around the braai or a nice summer, summer day. Um, and definitely if you're a cigar smoker, I would suggest you try a dark beer with your cigars. Guys, we're about an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes in. We're getting down to the final third. We're going to end off. Uh, the Lagaleras, really, if, if you want to start off, if you want to ensure you're going to get a nice smooth draw on a cigar, I have to be honest, the Lagaleras have not let me down. Check out Cigars for Africa. They are online store. They deliver really awesome guys. And I'm so glad that they're able to bring this kind of thing to South Africa. On this, going to have a quick chat about what we're going to be um, smoking next week the the whiskey pairing um, Jacques from uh, the whiskey library I have to say again compliments he knew exactly what we needed the Devoz 15 year old was an excellent option I've actually finished mine I might have to have another one that's why I'm, <laughs> that's, that's why I'm ending this <laughs> off now before things get a bit rowdy so um, I'm just gonna have a quick chat about what we're doing on our next episode so next week we're definitely gonna do this uh, it's the Nub Maduro it's a 60 ring gauge, beautifully fat, short cigar, and I'm really looking forward to trying that one out. Um, Jacques actually recommended that one, as well as this one, which he wants me to try. It's a Toscano, it's a Tuscany, Italy. So it's manufactured in Italy. This cigar is something that you should actually cut in half because it's the cheroot is open at both ends. So you would normally cut in half and then share it, but he gave us two. He he gifted us with two to try out and review and I'm looking forward to trying it out. So Andre said Jacques, I think he meant Dudley from JJ Curl. Dudley from JJ Curl and um, his uh, partner Chanel, they own the place. They are in uh, Tiger Valley? Tiger Valley. So if you aren't sure about the cigar, you want to get into this kind of thing, pop into Tiger Valley, pop into JJ Curl, have a chat to them. They're super knowledgeable and they'll be able to point you in the right direction. A lot of people since my first mm -hmm. video have asked me how do they get started. Chat to one of these guys, they're experts, and at the end of the day, just, just get to it, just try it, right? Buy one cigar from these guys, go home, smoke it, spend some time, chill and relax, because the cigar is going to force you to do that. And so we do this on every single Wednesday, um, and you'll probably see this on a Thursday or Friday, but this is a prescription, guys. This is something that I think everyone needs a moment midweek just to shut down, wind down. Once you light the sucker up, you're going to be here for an hour and a half, whether you like it or not. For sure. And no one's going to begrudge you your cigar because you you, you invested in this. is an investment, right? So um, huge thanks to JJ Kale, huge thanks to Cigars for Africa, huge thanks to the Whiskey Library. I'll leave links to all of those guys down below so you can go and check it out. If you are in Cape Town, um, definitely check those places out. And then also anywhere in South Africa, Cigars for Africa can hook you up. That is it guys, I will see you soon for a review or a vlog, have a good week, be safe, chill out, cheers, God bless.